the end of the world. It's happening. Turn down the TV monitor. The end of the world. It's going down right now. Force vaccinations. The end of the world is upon us. The Bible told you in the book of Revelations, which is a plagiarization of the book of Ezekiel. <sighs> it's going down. Oh, it's going shit. down. Get ready, 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 get ready. Predictive programming. You want to go to Honolulu? You want to go to Waikiki? You want to go to Aruba to see Sinbad's uh, jam in the islands? You so, need a vaccination yes. card. The end is near. Nigga, you want the life to be normal again? You want to go trick-or-treating? You need a vaccination. You want to go to the grocery store for some motherfucking Mott's applesauce? You need a vaccination, my nigga. The end of the world is here. The end of the world is you know it. Normalcy is dead. Huh? You want to get back to your mundane, monotonous, myopic lives. Mm -hmm. You got to take a vaccination. Oh. You're going to need your vaccination card. Oh, Lord, is the vaccination card the mark of the beast? Oh, Lord, Jesus, Jesus in him. Huh? I have my rights. Do you have rights in hell? Does the devil adhere to a constitution for motherfuckers in hell? You know what, Satan? The conditions of hell are intolerable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Zoe What Morning Show. Is Jeff's video up? Can we see? Oh, shit. I was a lot of man. I was a lot of like, uh, Let's check, Jeff. Uh, I just saw my link. What up, Jeff? What's that on your head? Nigga, that's my Santa Claus. That's my Satan Claus. Oh, I thought it was some some type of turban. Oh, you, you thought I was doing it with a fez? No, I'm not fezzing it out today. Let me just say this. Uh, I love it when you smoke and get high. Oh, I can't. I can't right now. You can't. I just had uh, my wisdom tooth full and another poke tooth with it. So I can't because you, you make a dry socket, nigga. I ain't finna smoke. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Take a moratorium on weed until New Year's, and then, nigga, I'm getting stratospheric. And this is why many people don't understand when I talk. Because I make points and fragments from I being no... interrupted. I... Nigga, I didn't interrupt you. Yes. I let you go. You don't go even know go. what interrupting is anymore. I don't even know. Did you, nigga, did you smoke before the show? What I'm I saying is. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. The right point now. that I was trying to make, that was in midpoint. Oh, okay. Last week's show, you were so motherfucking high. Okay. Some of the greatest, most intellectual, intellectually rich babble. Mm hmm came out your mouth. It was amazing. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm, uh, well, but I you can't you, be I'm that high. Be, I try to be amazing sober. Yes, you can't be that high this week. Oh, oh, I was too high last when week? When I tell you, nigga, you was skyscraper high. You were like, 
on the on the ninety seventh floor, my nigga. Okay, do you know what you just? Yeah, thank you for popping that memory bubble. Cause I don't know if you remember this, and I don't know if it goes on both of our albums with the speaker box "Love Below" two shit that we're doing. But uh, we had a song called "Skyscraper High," "Skyscraper High," yeah. Uh, hey, wait. Skyscraper High. I'm skyscraper high. Remember that one? You see, you see my son's hoodie. Nope. Oh shit. No, I can't move your computer, nigga. Uh, 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 bruh, bruh. You see what? the, you see the what? NW in there? New Williams, Dubs, Young Dubs, Lion. H A T, nigga. What? Wait. How much? Where's mine? Wait, hold on. Put that camera back. See, boom, New Williams. Bruh. 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 Bruh, I know you hear me, nigga. I know you hear me. I hear you and I see you. Okay. Please do not make me come down to the studio with uh, some epoxy polyamide paint remover and take a, a paintbrush and write I love Zoe Williams on your car door. Don't, Where? Don't do that. Do we get those, those delights? You remember, remember Batman uh, when Jack Nicholson was talking about uh, 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 Michael Keaton? And he said, where does he get those delightful toys? Where? This, this is my son's that? clothing line, and it's not available yet. But a guy over at Adidas designed this for him. Dude, that's dope. Young Lion, you see it? OK. Wait till he start embarrassing veterans. Niggas going to start getting that tattoo. You figure deals? So look, let's just do this right now. You already know how the show starts. We got to promote some businesses. We got to get some businesses, some love. Let me start. Last week we did, um, we had a special that uh, started on, um, uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? Black Friday and went into Cyber Monday. Uh, for the University of You, ZoeWhatMasterclass.com. My uh, master class on relationship, that intensive, that's five and a half hours long. Um, I'm promoting it today. Uh, I meant to get with my team uh, and have them reduce the price down to $29.99 today, just for today. But I didn't get a chance to do that. I'm sorry. But I still want to promote this course because it's so important and integral to what we're going to talk about today, Jeff and I. Please go to ZoeWhatMasterclass.com. ZoeWhatMasterclass.com. Yes, I was going to have my team reduce the price I may have them do it later on today, and it'll be at $29.99 for 24 hours. I may have them do it tomorrow. But the price that is at right now is not high. I see people selling their courses for $1,500. It's $5,000 to go sit with Tony Robbins. It's five grand to go sit with Tony Robbins. My course doesn't even crack a hundred dollars. And I and and I would I would I would argue and I would stand on the fact that my course is every bit as insightful, every bit as as uh, useful as any one of those guys. I, there's people who don't even have a third of the platform that I have or the pedigree that I have, right? Who's selling their courses for $1,500. Right, and you way more insightful and not at all whiteful. Do you get what I'm saying? I, I would urge everybody who hasn't gotten this masterclass to do it right now. And, and the course is crazy. If you and there's so many people who don't follow instructions. When I tell you this course is basic in terms of signing up, 
you go to zowhatmasterclass.com. You sign up with your email and you create a password. Once you do that, you're in. You're in. Hey, I'm confused. How do I, uh, what? Can somebody help me? Guess what? If you download the Teachable app, after you sign up for this course, you download the Teachable app. The app is called Teachable. You download it and you put in the same email and the same password you created, the whole course pops up. Boop. The entire course, every bit of it, the whole curriculum, all of the worksheets, all of the videos, everything that we've put in there, the whole 25 book list. Somebody, Zo, what book are you reading? Zo, what book are you? Get the master class. I got a 25 pack right in there, books that I'm reading. You in the dig? Go to ZoeWhatMasterClass.com. Also, Soul Tox, I've been drinking this. The Soul Tox piece, I've been drinking this. Now, let me inform a lot of you guys about Soul Tox real quick. Uh, Soul Tox during the Cyber uh, Weekend experienced uh, a problem. The manufacturer or the fulfillment center is a Walmart center out in the Midwest. And somebody told them people over there to do something really stupid. What they did was, you order a case of this, it's 50 bucks. You get 12 bottles of this in a case. It's $50 per case. Somebody in the Walmart fulfillment factory told somebody to open the box and they were shipping out one bottle for $50 a case, or $50 a bottle. That's not how it works. So the guy who runs the Soul Tox product called them, told him a brand new asshole. Anybody who was inconvenienced by that, of course, is gonna get a case of the water. But this water is good, man. It's a solid product. And you know, if I'm sitting here drinking it, Ingredients, 77 trace minerals from USDA organic uh, fulvic acid and humic acid, ionic calcium, magnesium, potassium, natural lime, mint flavor. This is a good situation right here, all right? This particular bottle that I'm using right now, uh, super antioxidant, immune boost, 11 amino acids, joint and muscle recovery. Go to Soul Tox. I think this is available. Where's the website? Oh, God. Don't ever say I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll find it out. Oh, it's on Amazon. Okay. Yeah. You can go to Amazon. Soul Tox. Tell them Zoe Williams sent you. Buy. And make sure you tell them Zoe Williams sent you because he trying to act like, yeah, we got some sales. We got some orders. But I don't know. If they from your people or from my, you ain't got no people. That's how you know. I asked him, I said, hey, brother. Did you get a boost in sales? Yeah. From what you normally get. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if they from you or me. What? So uh, please make sure you tell the man Zo Williams sent you. Because, you know, it, it get real goofy. <laughs> we don't want it to get goofy. Does, does he need a, a, a crash course in economics and commercialism? Because I could give him one in 30 seconds. You probably could. Okay. Hey, well, let turn me know Jeff's that. volume up so I can hear him a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, because uh, there we go. Whether or not someone walks by a Nissan dealership, Nissan still got to pay for them goddamn commercials. That's right. Okay. Is it worth something or not? If it ain't worth nothing, then fuck it. Then we won't we won't drink this water. It's a bunch of water we can drink. Bunch of water. I ain't gonna lie. I be drinking. I didn't drink the whole Tell damn case. 
I can take some spring water, that crystal geyser, put a couple of drops of black seed oil and iodine in it, and I'm right where I need to be. But I don't need to do that. I'm trying to get this soul tox water because it looks to be excellent, and you are a black man. But you are going to have to abandon two concepts, two precepts. One, the way your oppressor does business, and two, the way most black people do business after being under the thumb of your oppressor. Because once you get those out of the way, then you're not tripping on uh, how much of this. And I understand, we all work from a place of lack because the oppressor has put us in this place of lack, and I get all that. But this is a new day. Hold so you're going to need some new thinking. And I'm done. Total package energy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm not fucking with y'all. Y'all trying to get sick. Zo, it ain't real. COVID ain't real, Zo. Paul's mouth and ass ain't real. It's a plan dim. Okay. Something real. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. You know why? I'm not an epidemiologist. Well, I'm not a virologist. But I know. You think the mouse knows what the fuck that shit is growing on its back in the experiment? Nope. He don't know. But he knows something. Is this shit supposed to be growing on my back? That's what the mouse saying. These motherfuckers got something growing on my back and got me running through a maze. I'm smart enough to know this ain't natural and I don't need to be a, 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 a biochemist to do that. Do you understand? So part of my regimen is this soul tox water. Total package fucking energy, man. I had a total package energy today. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, y'all should buy them out. I had a total package energy today. I'm gonna tell you right now though, don't take the total package energy if you ain't got shit going on in your life, okay? A lot of people don't know the difference between the stay at home order and quarantine and their regular life. Right. Y'all been doing that shit forever. If you right. one of them people, don't, don't fuck with total package energy. Yeah. I was up at six this morning on the phone with my transcriber writing the book. The, uh, the Shrouded Lighthouse. I'm going to tell you, the Shrouded Lighthouse is crazy. Total package energy got me up ready to go for that. I if took three lazy, B12s. If you lazy with a lot of energy, this is not for you. Do you understand? <laughs> lazy with a lot of energy. <laughs> you know them niggas. Do low. You know. like That's funny. Like the, Yo, 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 the, the black girl from the hood bring her uh, Ivy League white uh, black boyfriend home who's on the track team, mm -hmm. and he talking that shit about how fast he is, and Duloc is sitting there with the homies in khakis and house shoes on the, on the uh, uh, porch, mm -hmm. and her little nephew go, I bet you can't beat Duloc. And here's this nigga in his uh, uh, sponsored Nikes and his warm-ups, and Duloc get up off the, the porch and put his cigarette out on his house shoe right. and go hold my 40. And they get in the middle of the street and Dulo dust his hands ass off handily. You know why? Because Dulo is lazy with a lot of energy. Total package energy ain't for Dulo. No, it's not. Because ain't no telling what Dulo gonna do when he drink this shit with his lazy ass. <laughs> Dulo. Hey, Lloyd Hinton in the chat room just dropped 99.99 on the chat room. Dwight Johnson just dropped yes. $20. Yes. Imad Al Kubati just dropped $10. I tried to get that name right. Uh, 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 somebody just dropped $5. I can't see their name right here. But I just want to thank everybody for hitting the like button, hitting the super chat button. Please continue to do so. Hit the super chat button. This channel needs your support. Please hit our cash app, hit our super chat. 
We'd appreciate it. My cash app is dollar sign zo what netter. Jeff Brown is G dollar sign GB funny style. And of course, dollar sign Sarah without the H, the third rail as Jeff Brown refers to her. Uh, please support all of the businesses that we're putting in front of you. I'm almost done with the community empowerment segment. Um, the hurricane report, let me just say, get to Total Package Energy right now. The vitamin C, I took three of these today. Go to totalpackageenergy.com. B12, took three of those today, and I took one Total Package Energy today. And don't forget their pea protein product. I'm, I'm on this health kick right now. Please My man. continue. Jeff, I'm with you. My I'm man. with you, bruh. There, there's no way you couldn't be because you vibrate too high. Let me tell you something, man. I fuck with you a lot about you catching COVID six times and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, great uh, oxtail gravy and, and your vegan worship. You're like, you know, a, a vegan Jehovah Witness. I fuck with you a lot with that. But the reality of it is, did you see Dr. Dre from mm -hmm. MTV, Yo MTV Raps? With that boot, that... that Where that picture at? I sent it to Sarah. What? Dr. Dre? Just pull it up. You, you should be able to pull it up. Dr. Dre from MTV, Yo MTV Raps is sitting in a hospital bed with one leg already amputated and the other leg short looking like like it's melting and and ready to go at any time if you don't get on your health kick right now it it ain't gonna work but whenever you find it we'll come back to it but whenever you find it huh yeah Dr. Dre from Yo MTV Raps, just that nub. He's sitting there with a nub. A nub and a boot on that, that, uh, ain't that boot supposed to be lower? That like boot look, that boot look heavy as hell. That boot look like <laughs> it's going to break off the remaining piece of the oh, surviving leg. And we not trying to be funny. This is serious. Diet, diabetes, hypertension, all of this shit run hot. Look at, look at the brother, man. And I, I feel bad for him, brother. I feel bad for the brother. My mother suffered from diabetes. See, and, see, see, look at that right there. Yeah. That look, is that kneecap? Is that foot? That, that, that going down into that boot, that boot needs to be about four inches closer to the ground, don't it? It's, it's like such, some shit missing over there already. Yeah, man. It's such a sad story, man. Well, I that's feel how bad. good Snickers taste. I have no, no, I don't. But let no. me just say, I'm on this health kick for real. That's why I'm putting products in front of you like Total Package Energy. Like X-Wolf. A number of herbs. A number of herbs to keep your natural tree bark popping. Is what safe for women to take? I think X Wolf is a testosterone booster. So if you want to beat your man's ass, if you want to flex, if you want to she hulk out. <laughs> but I do believe that they have a female counterpart to this, right? And the female huh. counterpart helps build a woman's libido as well. But this is for men. X Wolf is the black owned version of nugenics. You under dig? And like I said, every man that's over 30 years old, don't get it twisted, buddy. Your testosterone levels year in, year in, year in, year out, begin to drop. Go cash mob X Wolves, X labs, sups.com. Everybody cash mob them. Go, 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 go. Hurricane report. Hurricane. Hurricane report. They're rebuilding. They're rebuilding their site. 
h-report.news, write it, take action, maintain freedom. This is by blacks, for blacks, an alternative news source, right? To get the real story on what the fuck is going on in our community and what we need to know about. <laughs> Please support them right now. And this I'm about to do because this is my God brother. This is my bro right here. He is one of the top tier barbers in Southern California. He has a new beard grooming product, black owned business. It's called Sir Grooming. I, I love the little phrase down here, be handsome on purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got charcoal head and beer wash. Head and beard wash. What? Beard oil. Women love doing this, boy. Oh, yeah, they do. They love that, boy. <laughs> but if you got graham crackers in your beard. Not the look. You got, you got dried ramen noodle right here. <laughs> this beard oil. Two in one conditioner and shave cream. Oh, shit. Get your life in order, man. Get your life in order. My brother's yeah. website is. I gotta read it because I didn't I didn't put it up on here. Uh it's SirGroomingLounge.com. SirGroomingLounge.com. Go cash mob right now. Tell them Zoe sent you. Go and listen. I really want you to cash mob right now. I hate putting people's business out in the street, but he and his wife, they are expecting a baby. They don't know which gender it is right now. This is a small business, and, and let's put some let's put some cash in their coffers. Bless right? that baby. Let's let's put some cash in their coffers, sir. Grooming. What's that baby? Let's let's put some cash in their coffers. You under dig? Let's support them right now. I <laughs> don't forget to purchase the relationship dismount. How to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship? Available on Amazon.com in three different formats: Audible, flavors. Kindle, three different flavors, paperback. Uh, also, go to my website, imzowilliams.com, and purchase your paperback version of the, the holographic relationship. The reason why I'm telling you guys to support me and hit my cash app and hit the super chat, boy, this documentary and this new book is coming. We're about to drop a pre-order link for the new book shortly. When I tell you the new book is taking... Everything that we've done from the holographic or from the relationship dismount and the holographic relationship to an entirely different level. So get ready for the new book, The Shrouded Lighthouse. It's on its way. I appreciate everybody. We're about to get into today's get down. Jeff, you ready? I am ready, sir. I am ready. All right, let's just let's just go right there. Didn't I tell y'all about politics? Politics. Politics. Parlor as, tricks. As as the honorable Elijah Muhammad called it. Politics. The nation was up on this many, many years ago. I'm gonna tell you one thing, I'm gonna do another. Anything mm -hmm. I offer you is offered to you from the perspective of manipulating you into giving me what I want. It's not about supporting you this is why this is why i'm saying sometimes people are just blind you remember your comedian homeboy that was like biden is different than trump how do you trump. not see here go biden putting black people in subordinate cabinet positions but all the real major positions are being filled by the same people barack had and barack had white folk from the Clinton campaign. This is why they're saying Biden's campaign 
is Clinton 3.0 or Obama 2.0. All the major positions are not being filled by black folk. But he told you, you ain't black unless you vote for him. Well, Donald Trump is the same way. Donald Trump is the same motherfucker who, uh, who jacked Ice Cube's plan and came up with his little platinum plan for black people, while at the same time, the reports are saying right now, Trump administration to execute five black people in the last days as president. He's going to execute what? five black people on, you know, death row. He's not going to grant clemency. Oh, okay. Outgoing President Donald Trump has permitted the execution of four black men and one woman before he leaves the White House. Trump, who tried to appeal to black men and women before the election with his platinum plan, is the first president in 17 years to reinstate federal executions, knowing the disproportionate amount of black men and women that are on or in prison and on death row. Anti-death penalty activist Sister Helen Prejean said on Monday's episode of Democracy Now! that the executions are a result of giving absolute power to people not fit to use it correctly. It just shows when you give absolute power over life and death to government officials, they really, they can really do what they want. Listen to that. They can really do what they listen. Black he said black people build America. Remember campaigning for the vote? African Americans built America. The duplicity in a politician is something that can't be trusted. But you got people like Van Jones on CNN crying. Yeah. Why are you crying for a broken system? Why are you crying? for political liars. Why are you crying? You got your man and your woman. Is shit gonna be different, Jeff? Um, well, let's, let's back up a little bit to uh, the version that Joe Biden is. That's about the only disagreement I have in all of what you said is that I don't think Joe Biden is Clinton 2.0. I think Joe Biden- 3.0. Obama 2.0. I think Joe Biden is Democratic pacifier 70.0. I don't Ever understand. since what black does that people mean? left Republicans for the Democratic Party and the, Democrat, the Democratic Party uh, the, the Republicans sent out a dog whistle to say, all y'all that hate niggas come over here. Since then, Democrats have been pacifiers. I asked the question again, Zoe Williams. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you know right where I live, at the corner of Click, Clack, and Booyah, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just say you come into my house, bro. Mm -hmm. And creator don't give these words any power. You're on your way to my house. You get out of your car. For some reason, you park across the street. And as you're crossing that busy street, you get hit by a car. You, nigga, my nigga, I see it. I come out there and I take and I drag your broken body over to my stoop. And I run in the house and I come back out with some now and laters, uh, a magazine. Uh, my my iPad, and I give you now and later's and let you read this magazine and look at my iPad until you bleed out. Are we as good of friends as you thought? No. Nope. I mean, I didn't bring a band aid. I didn't call nine one one. I didn't do none of that. But I got these now and later's right here, nigga. You want some ice cream? I got it right here. <laughs> uh... How good of friends are we really? If I can see you bleed. And talk about how bad it is, but I don't do a motherfucking thing to help you. That is exactly who the Democratic Party has been. And uh, please understand white people, uh, black people who believe in voting mm -hmm. and believe in white liberals. White liberals 
take on blacks as pet slash investments. Mm, mm, mm. Part of it to satiate their own guilt for what happened. So I'm going to take on the niggas' money. And I'm going to set them up in situations where they never make as much money as I do. And I'm going to call that benevolence. That's what the fuck you signing up for. Well, again. That's what this game is. And 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 uh, I'm going to say this and shut the fuck up. Uh, as Zoe said, uh, Biden got in office promising you that not only was he going to change all the ice cream to healthy? But that he was going to make all the ice cream affordable and you can get all the ice cream you want. Now, in order to do that, you got to deal with the CEO of the ice cream companies. Huh. So, huh. Instead, of, instead of putting people in place that will challenge the CEO to send more ice cream over here, he put the same motherfuckers that's been running this ice cream company for 400 years. Mm, mm, but mm. your ass. Trump got to go. Okay, we'll see. He's just so evil. We got to get him out. But then, speaking we. out your asshole or your whole sphincter and your mouth, you'll say in one breath, power, uh, the president ain't got no power. The president's just a figurehead. How many times you heard people, whether they be political pundits or laymen, saying the same thing? The president doesn't have any power. The president is beholden to the Senate and the Congress. How many times you heard that, right? Even Barack Obama just recently came out after he was dogging black men, of course. That's what he does basically said, it's not a monarchy. I don't have absolute power as the president. That's what he said. So if that's true, according to our legal system, how did that man, Donald Trump, get all the blame for everything that's wrong? Oh, we just got to get him out. We, he's, so, he's such a dickhead. He's so bad. He's so terrible. He's so this. And he's ruined. He's. He got full credit for the fucked up direction that this society is going in. The, uh, the man came from The Prentice. We, uh, they, we told you he was an actor. We told you he was an actor. But all of a sudden, we get caught up, right, in the narrative that they're pushing. He's the problem. He's the problem. He's the problem. He's the problem. We got to get him out. We got to get him out. And then you get him out for what? A more socially acceptable version of what he is? You think Biden is different. I'm not going to integrate my children into a fucking jungle. Oh, you mean integrate he changed, with others? Though. He changed. Yeah, though. We, we didn't see him change. But but he did. Your mentor was, was Thurm Strom. Uh, what was his name? Strom Thurman. Strom Thurman. But he changed. You was mentored though. by a Klansman. Okay. Are he different? We didn't see him change. So he's a benevolent 70-year-old white man. Come on, you know the country is full of those. Did he sound different when he was talking to Charlemagne and said, you not black if you don't vote for me? Sound like the inner racist popped out. And, and then they talk about him being a pedophile. Here goes something ugly to say that I'm happy to say. I don't give a fuck about how many little white girls he touch if he take care of black people. Ooh. But he ain't finna do that. There you go. Hi. Jeff Brown said it. Jeff Brown said it. Uh, work, working on a comedy special. I don't know if we're ever going to have comedy anymore. Yeah. But the name of my next comedy special. Damn. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm helping D.L. write one right now. But the name of my comedy special is going to be Jeff Brown. Hope you don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Hope you don't like what I'm about to say. Please. Lord have mercy. You about to see what happens when a financially independent black man speaks his fucking mind. Uh, uh, uh. 
Lord. Yeah. Lord. I don't care how many little white girls he inappropriately touch. That's for y'all to handle. Uh, my people are inappropriately starving. Mm. You can get therapy for being touched. Ain't no therapy for hungry. Mm. Ain't no therapy for hungry. Say it uh, again. I didn't. Well, well, first off, you didn't say what I said. I said ain't no therapy for hungry with an O. Hungry. <laughs> hungry. I love getting at them ghetto. Ain't no therapy for hungry. I love, I love, uh, somebody tell me get the banana out of my hand. Why would I do that? It's full of potassium. In order for me to be embarrassed about a banana, I'd have to play into the, the narrative that niggas are monkeys. Is that what you're getting at? Now, anyway, uh, um, I, uh, uh, oh, shit. What, 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 was I, what was I just talking about? Help me out. I just got lost. I went down the banana tree. Hungry. Oh, hungry. Yes, I love getting that white folks ghetto because it just makes them angrier when they find out that your ghetto and your logic far supersedes theirs and that you can speak the king's English better than them and use words correctly like obsequious and bear similitude, but you, did, you, you opt not to and come from that goddamn grimy ass nigga side. Obsequious oh, like. to fawn over. Yes, 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 platitudinous and actually know what they mean and how to use them correctly in a sentence, but choose, choose the tongue of my people on your monkey ass. You understand? You, you genuflect, you've been taught to genuflect to hope. That mean being, y'all. Just genuflect to hope and you'll be okay. Your VP got the same skin color, but an entirely different agenda for your people. But she got this, she used her skin color to act like she was your people. But when asked, what is she going to do for your people? She said, I ain't going to do nothing specific for black people. But yet you turned out at a 90 percentile rate for black women voting for her as a black woman. You get to ride on the coattails of blackness with no agenda for the black people in America who built this place. You busy trying to open your arms to all the immigrants while at the same time co-opting an American black tragedy story. Co-opting American black people's trauma as the motherfucking vehicle for that. Now, let me just say, how many times you gonna fall for the fucking okie doke? Uh, until, until the, uh, we are going to fall for the okie doke, just like Oprah, who I do not quote very often because I think uh, she's inherently fucking evil, but uh, she said something that made a lot of sense. A lot of old white people gonna have to die for this shit to truly change. And the truth is, a lot of old black people going to have to die, too. Well, she's an old black person that might yes. have to die. Yes, yes. Because ever since she said, you told Harpo to beat me, she's been against the black man. Ooh. 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 Who wrote The Color Purple? Alice Walker? Alex not Alex Haley, girl. Alex Haley wrote Roots, girl. That's Roots. Oh, That's Roots. And it was stole, a woman. Some say he stole that. No. But if you if you go back, if you go back to the color purple, the whole movie was around a narrative of black men mistreating black women. She carried that narrative all the way through to Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby and beyond. But she mm. would not apply that. To Harvey Weinstein. No. Nope. And take a real good, real, real good look at the color purple. The only decent black man uh, uh, in that goddamn movie was the cow motherfucker that drove Shug to the house. 
Wow. wow. Not one strong, positive black man in the fucking bunch. Alice Walker wrote The Color Purple. Yes. But who is Alice Walker? What was her motive? Like you start peeling back. Let me tell you, Hollywood puts people in place that they want to create a fucking agenda. That's why if you talk too much, that's why if you go against the grain of the dominant narrative that's being pushed by the media and the propaganda machine, you are pointed out as a rabble rouser or a troublemaker or an agitator. There's a narrative that's being pushed. Now, from Alice Walker's Color Purple, we live in a society that's saying black men kill black women all the time. Black men beat on black women all the time. Black men hate black women. I had a sister. I talked to a sister, only 24 years old. She said she doesn't have any example of good black men. And she can survive with just being around black women. She can get all she needs for being an upright, upstanding human being from just black women. You don't see the imbalance in that? And at 24 years old, 12 years old times two, you 12 twice. You mean to tell me the sum total of your interactions and experiences represent the sum total of all black men? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's exactly what she means to tell you. Man. Come on, man. These niggas do not understand who they are dealing with. Come on, man. Come on, man. We rattling through today. We got topics. We rattling through today. You're listening to the Zoe What Show. We're live right here at Vibe Free TV. Jeff Brown is on the Skype link. Mm -hmm. in, in a Christmas festive, he not high, he's focused. You know what, let me take that shit off because I'm catching on. It's getting a little hot because he's paying you know. attention. Please hit Jeff Brown's cash app. Everybody hit Jeff Brown right now. Dollar sign GB Funny Style. Everybody send him a 10 spot because you already know he's about to drop some hot lava on our next topic. Everybody drop him a 10 ass. spot. Hey, and if you're feeling in the giving mood, please don't be. Uh, 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 remiss to forget me. Hit your brother Zoe Williams on the Cash App right now. Hit me on the Cash App. Dollar sign Zoe What Netter. Everybody, we only have 494 likes. We got 1,100 people in the chat. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. It is free to like. It is free to hit the like button. Let's get to 1,000 likes right now. I'm moving to our next topic. <laughs> Jeff Brown, according to ABC News, the House votes to federally decriminalize, decriminalize marijuana. Friday marks the first ver vote ever of its kind on a federal level. For the first time in congressional history, the House of Representatives voted to pass a measure that would decriminalize marijuana use at the federal level. Months after pulling the bill amid worries, the controversial vote could cause some laws, lawmakers to lose tight races in November. The vote passed 228 to 164, mostly down party lines, uh, with just five Republicans voting in favor of the measure, six Democrats voting to oppose. While the federal government continues to criminalize cannabis, House Judiciary Co uh, Chairman Jerry Nadler stressed that 36 states and the District of Columbia have legalized medical marijuana in, while 15 states and the District of Columbia has legalized uh, cannabis for adult recreational use. Now, in alignment with this, the NBA will not test for marijuana use this year this season. Jeff Brown, your thoughts on wow. the move to decriminalize and legalize marijuana as high as you be. Okay. 
Ooh, dude. Dude, as high as you be. Nigga, there's something there. Anyway, uh, let me read you these uh, quotes about cannabis. Marijuana is the most violence-causing drug in the history of mankind. Re d two, reefer makes darkies think they're as good as white men. Three, there are 100,000 total marijuana smokers in the U.S., and most are Negroes, Hispanics, Filipinos, and entertainers. Their satanic music, jazz, and swing result from marijuana usage. This marijuana causes white women to seek sexual relations with Negroes, entertainers, and any others. Four, you may smoke a joint, and you're likely to kill your brother. Five, marijuana is an addictive drug which produces in its users insanity, criminality, and death. Six, the primary reason to outlaw marijuana is its effect on the degenerate races. Seven, no one knows when he places a marijuana in his, his lips whether he will become a joyous reveler in a musical heaven, a, man in, a mad insensate, a calm philosopher, or a murderer. Eight, if the hideous monster Frankenstein came face to face with marijuana, he would drop dead of fright. Nine, some people say, some people will fly into a delirious rage and they are temporarily irresponsible and commit violent crimes. Other people will laugh uncontrollable. It is uncontrollably, it is impossible to say what the effect will be on any individual. Ten, marijuana leads to pacifism and com communist brainwashing. I'll stop there. Find it on your own. These are the quotes of a Mr. Harry Anslinger. I need you to look him up. He is the crusader of uh, bad marijuana and bad PR yeah. of cannabis mm -hmm. on behalf of William Randolph Hearst. What you are watching is a bunch of old, enough old white people dying that were in keeping with, in alignment with, under the guise of, standing under, understanding Anslinger's philosophy. Those motherfuckers are dying. This is why this age mindset is coming about. Now, I don't give a shit about how legal marijuana is. I give a shit about the tip of the iceberg that is freeing immediately. Every black person that has ever been incarcerated with regard to this business, this industry that you lock us out of, I'm telling you right now, I am in the process of trying to open a dispensary in California as a black man and it's fucking hard. Oh, Fortunately, yeah. I have some white folks to get in front of me so you ain't gonna see my money coming. I'm pimpish like that. But I have to do that because marijuana first was a financial threat. William Randolph Hearst sold newspapers and owned trees. Nigga. He had a monopoly on this shit. A monopoly. And then here comes the knowledge and possibly the implementation of hemp. Hmm. Hemp, you can make paper out of it. You can make rope out of it. You can make clothes out of it. You can make candles out of it. Uh, it's, it's stronger than steel in certain ways that you use it. Yeah. And you can also use it to make newspapers. And he wasn't having that shit. So he set out and put all his money behind a propaganda campaign to fuck over marijuana. Now, while we fucking over marijuana, who can we hang it on? The niggas. But again, marijuana was created as, what is it, a Schedule One drug because that was just a way to justify incarcerating black men. Let's just keep it 100. White people been smoking weed just like we was smoking weed. That was just, a, that was just another way, another excuse to say, hey, you going to jail for 30 years, 15 years, 20 yes, years, yes. whatever. That was, come on. Come on, man. Come, come on. on. This is the system we run to for answers for our community. 
This system has always been duplicitous, has always been manipulative, has always been contradictory, but yet you disrespect your ancestors if you don't go vote. Okay, cool. Let me shout, let me shout out uh, uh, Jared Olson. Jared Olson purchased um, the University of You. Thank you, brother. We got one University of You cell. Go to ZoeWhatMasterclass.com if you want to get that masterclass uh, that I taught back in S September. It's still available right now. Thank you, Jared Olson, for your purchase. Please continue to hit the like button. Please continue to hit the share button. We've, I'm, I'm, I'm rifling through these topics because I want to spend a great deal on a particular topic. All right, so let's just cut to it real quick. This isn't the, the, the actual topic, but I want us to go through this one. Why'd you bring so many goddamn topics today? You know I'm long-winded. But we've been telling you for 12 years to not be long-winded. How's that working out? We're failing. <laughs> Dude, 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 don't make, don't, dude. I got stitches. I got stitches. I got clotting. I can't be laughing hard. We failed. Miserably. Oh, it's hilarious. But According to NPR.org, Obama, former presidents, Obama, Bush, Clinton, say they're willing to get coronavirus vaccine on camera, much like uh, Elvis went on national television and got the polio vaccine. Again, the media, celebrity, using these faces to make you feel comfortable about some shit that's unconstitutional. Being I forced, need a shot. Being forced polio. to take a goddamn vaccine. Who better to promote a product than a former president? How about three? Former presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton are willing to lend their star power for a good cause, saying this week that they would publicly take a coronavirus vaccine once it's available in the U.S. to encourage kept skeptical Americans to do the same. Obama said that And I'm that supposed if, to believe that that's what's in that syringe. Okay, right. it ain't a B12 shot that I'm watching you take. It really is the vaccine. Okay. Right. Everything is about imagery. You're cutting me off, but that's fine. Everything is about imagery. Everything is about imagery. The image of it. Jeff, you just made the, the, the best point I've heard in a long time. Out of sequence, but yeah. What the fuck if it's sugar water? in they vaccines. Again, you're not an epidemiologist, you're not a virologist, you're not a chemist, you're, you're, you're not a pharmacist. You don't know what the fuck they putting in their arms. Who's to say they don't have a specialized vaccine for themselves that is considered real? Are you trying to tell me Agenda 21 isn't real? Are you trying to tell me uh, 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 motherfucking population control is not real when you have way too many elites and one percenters who publicly advocate the culling of the masses. Like, you motherfuckers never want to have a real conversation. Right? You want black people to just be cool with shit without first dealing with Tuskegee. You yeah. said AIDS came from a green monkey out of Africa. Somebody in Africa fucked a monkey. And started the, uh, the sick booty disease. I don't know. You, uh, listen to me now. It's a lot of shit this government has perpetuated against black folk. But you want to start at the end. Hey! We good now. You, you want us to say, hey, Biden different. We didn't see no difference. We haven't seen a change. This is a man who was running as motherfucking Barack Obama's VP candidate. And the motherfucker said, he's articulate. He's a clean African-American. Like, most of us are not articulate. 
Most of us aren't clean. What? But he different. Y'all want us to just cut, cut right to it. Hey, that was 100 years ago. But if you're the same as you were 100 years ago, you just move differently. You just speak differently. Why in the fuck are we just supposed to jump on fucking board? You never been right by us. Never. Okay, Planned Parenthood, just in our community to call our numbers. Then you find out the motherfucker who started Planned Parenthood was part of the eugenics movement called niggas weeds. So societal weeds. But that's Hillary Clinton's hero. We could still fuck with Hillary Clinton and hot sauce dance with her and do all this fuck shit when that's her hero. It's a confused motherfucking society. Jeff Brown, your thoughts. Uh, okay, I'm going to work backwards from everything you said. That's what I'm doing, taking notes here. Uh, so to make this, yeah, I dig this. It's going to make it make a lot of sense if I do it backwards. Uh, to, to, to put into perspective, Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden, you got to talk about uh, Margaret Sanger and Strom Thurmond. Because yeah. that's who you're really down with. When you're down with me, you're down with my mentors. Because my mentors gave me them. Yes. It's impossible for you to be down with me and not be down with John Henry Clark. Not be down with uh, uh, Dr. Claude. At, uh, uh, what, what the fuck is Anderson. Dr. Claude's last name? Anderson. Yes, Dr. Claude Anderson. Uh, you can't be down with me and not be down with the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. You can't, because those are my vicarious. Uh, uh, Brother Minister uh, um, Mullen, uh, uh, uh. Formerly, known, formerly known as Brother Minister Tony Muhammad. Yes. That man has counseled me directly. Yes. Those are my influences. So if you're down with me, you're down with my influence. So if you're down with Joe Biden, I strongly suggest you just Google Strom Thurmond. You ain't got to Google Klan or racist. You ain't got to put that on his name. Put in the words Strom and a swastika might come up, nigga. Strom Thurmond. Look him up. Because that's who mentored this dude. If you don't like status quo politics, then what the fuck are you doing even looking at uh, Joe Biden and this whole uh, he's clean and articulate coming from somebody who obviously either doesn't know or is hiding the fact that it is us who taught you to bathe and speak. How the fuck you gonna compliment me for being smart and clean? That's my compliment to you. Right. <laughs> Tell him, Jeff, shit. Okay, in the words of in, in the words of my man. Who that nigga uh, up uh, on that neck? Uh, uh, in the words of my boy, uh, my man, shout out to Daryl Littleton, a.k.a. D. Militant, joke writer extraordinaire. We both wrote for Cat Williams at different times. Uh, with regard to AIDS and a monkey, I happen to know that that's a lie because monkeys won't let you get close enough to fuck them. <laughs> monkey be like, hey. What the fuck hey, are you trying to do? Hey. Ah, chew your face off. He ain't not having that shit. And with regard to the vaccine, when they shoot the president, in order to shoot the president and have you see it and it be effective, they need you to believe it. And what have you heard over a hundred times on this program from the high yellow green eyed motherfucker that I'm gonna play poker with and take that that red kango from. How Wrong. many times have you heard Wrong. him say, Wrong. "Believe Wrong. is to give the uh, uh, the lie as a gift." Believe from the Latin be lie. This lie as a gift when they stick us with B12 and you say it's the vaccine. Niggas, if you don't stop, look and open your funky ass eyes. Nigga, your eyes stink. 
He said to open your funky ass funky eyes. Ass eye. Your eyes stink. They stink. They apparently stink. Your eyes stink because your eyes are in front of your thoughts and your thoughts stink. Your eyes stink. So you can <laughs> only see stink because your eyes relate back to your brain directly. Oh, shit. The quickest way to get to the human brain with a blunt object is the human eye. Yo, I think. <laughs> it's just some 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 fucking killer shit you learned in the military, but yes. Now, with all of the double talk and confusion that's out here right now, right? Let's get down to our major topic today. Fellow YouTuber. Kevin Samuels Yo. told a face off this lady. And people have been asking me, we could just play the audio. Okay? Sarah, do you have it? I uh by the way, yeah. I smoked a big bag of Kevin Samuels. I dig that dude. He ain't nothing but honest. So people have been, you know, people have been asking. Zoe, what do you think? I mean, take your time, Sarah. Zoe, what do you think about what he said? Now, keep in mind, I've been a part of the 5150 show for over 10 years. He didn't say nothing any different than what I've heard Corey Holcomb say. So, and Corey Holcomb has been going viral for saying things like this. Uh, for years, so he didn't really say nothing different. I wasn't really blown away by what he said. What blows me away is when you have in a society a thousand different viewpoints around a particular subject, please understand this is the best way for confusion to ensue. Nigga, we live in the Tower of Babel. IG, Facebook, YouTube has made it so everybody gets to say what the fuck they want to say and put their opinion and perspective out there. But just like during the time of Babel, that was a time of confusion. Because when you got a gang of people talking that really don't know what the fuck they talking about, what, what makes a person know what they talk about, Jeff? You got the audio ready? Uh, okay, we'll get to that in a second. Jeff, what makes a person, uh, how do you classify a person who really knows what they're talking about? Um, the only way to classify He's about to fuck from up. the outside <laughs> a person who knows what they're talking about is your belief. The question becomes, what is your belief fortified by? You know how I know uh, when I go, a uh, prime example, oh, Zoe, you got to see the JAG pimping. The JAG is cold-blooded. Okay, uh, that's, that's another topic. Stay focused oh, before you forget. Oh, oh, no, this is smooth on the topic. Okay. Do you know uh, uh, I got this car for a smoking deal because it had a carburetor fire and the owner thought the milk motor was ruined and he was an old white man and just like black people do, I took what he was throwing away and made a delicacy of it. I took it to my mechanic and he affirmed my assumption from my own study and my own knowledge, which he is further in, but I can believe him I can believe him because the only lie as a gift that he is giving me is what time he's going to do what I know he can do that I either do not have the time, tools, or talent to do. So it is what I know that fortifies what he knows. It is when I don't know shit and I bring my mindless ass with nothing to an individual like him, that I could get fucked over. And on the other side of that coin, I, bro, I love my brother to death. But do you know why I didn't ask my brother 
to fix my car? Because he's not a mechanic. Right. And I know he's not a mechanic because of what I know about cars. So the only way to fortify the validity of a motherfucker is by what you know. You can't fortify them by what you think they know. And the problem is, because most people don't know much, all you got to do is stand in front of them with $50 words and shiny shit. And or a white what, lab coat. And that or shit is without man. weed. I will take the lie as a gift from you because I believe that you know more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I believe your intentions have to be pure when you look at my situation. Right. How can you look at how bad my situation is and how, heap more shit on it? Right. That's inhuman. Right. Dot, dot, dot. Right. 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 Come on, Jeff. So, uh, um, in order, again, in order to find validity in someone, you must first find validity in, validity in yourself. Right. There's no way for me to say, how do I know the difference between uh, whether or not, yeah, there you go, Zoe. You do understand that when new get drafted and they play here in town, I'm going to need some close seats. Okay. I'm probably going to ruin your uh, uh, outing a couple of times because I'm going to go with your monkey ass. Okay. So are you going to listen to Jeff Brown's opinion about basketball? No. Why? Because you're not an athlete. And you, uh, uh, no, keep played. going. And why else? You've never played. Uh, yeah, okay. And you have, right? Right. A lot, right? Right. So you know I don't know shit about basketball because of what you know about basketball. Right. Now, I could tell a three-year-old, here, we're going to play some basketball. Now, I want you to kick this, and when you kick it in that hoop, it's called a field goal. And you know what? He'll believe me because he doesn't have a point of reference. Okay. So... Let me you have a fantastic point of reference. So how how is Jeff Brown gonna bullshit Zoe Williams about basketball? How? Right. So let let me jump in here real quick and play the audio. Play a piece of the audio real quick so we can really dissect what's happening, and then I'll come back and answer what I think is the method for. Because uh, because Jeff went on a, on, a, on a tangent. My original question was, how do you know if somebody knows what they're talking about? Right. That's that was the question. I didn't answer that. You did. You know. I you said know you, were, you, you, know. you answered it. Yes, you answered it succinctly. In my opinion, you just went so long that I suffered from what you suffer from, and that's short term okay. memory. Well, I but now I, long, <laughs> I took you on a long ride. The lab ride was worth it. But I, I get it. I I, I get it. Right? How do you, you know, ascertain that somebody knows what they're talking about? Okay, but play the audio real quick. Cool. Those younger girls don't necessarily turn it up. Necessarily, twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm fifty one and I and I can't beat them off with a stick. That's another one on you lies. No, younger women are always younger women are attracted to older men. What are you talking about? So can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. So do you feel like a woman like me? Uh huh. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten? You cannot use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm-hmm, just your face. Um, uh, my face when I wake up five, but when I put myself together six. Okay. No. And how tall are you? Five five. Dress size. I'm sorry. Your dress size. A three. Okay, so that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. Dun, dun, dun. Look at the disappointment. So, um, did you, did you, I mean, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Breathe and digest. You're 35 years old, and you can look around and see the world. You don't tend to see higher-earning men 
with average looking women off rip if you do see them they got them they got their average looking woman when they were both really young and he built his way up but a man earning the kind of money you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman nope I mean, my body is not average, so. But your ma'am, you please don't make me say it. Oh, wow. Say what? <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I just wanted some She's bragging on a big old booty. I'm giving you, I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. The um, advice is, ma'am, ma'am, you're average looking at best. I'm taking it in, but. All right, but okay, but you're not accepting the fact uh, that. Okay. So. Let me answer my own question and then get right into this. My own question, how do you know if somebody knows what they're talking about? Malcolm Gladwell says anybody that puts 10,000 hours of effort into something becomes an expert at it. Check the pedigree. Find out, you know, what they've learned, what they've been doing. And this doesn't always mean scholarship in terms of academia, right? If you look at Jay-Z, Jay-Z can be considered an expert at the music game because he applied what he learned in the streets. He saw that it matched up with how to move in the music industry. So Jay-Z can experience, right? His experience makes him a fucking expert at how to navigate the murky waters of the music industry in corporate America. This is why he does deals and he looks like the people who take advantage of us in a lot of ways. You see what I'm saying? Buying niggas publishing from them and, you know doing all type of shady deals, but in a business context, he's doing the right thing, right? So you look at a person's pedigree, their experience, as well as their scholarship, right? Now, that's different than looking at someone's wisdom IQ. Knowledge is different than wisdom. How do you ascertain that? A wise man knows the limits of his knowledge and isn't afraid to take you right to the edge of what he knows. And then wow. once he gets to the edge of what he, he knows, he's not afraid to say, beyond this point, I don't know. Right? That's a wise man. A wise man is saying, after I've given you all that I know, Right. Once we move forward, we're now equals because we're both researching and learning and studying and growing together. I'm not your teacher. You get what I'm saying? Like, and you're not mine. Now we're moving forward. So pedigree. Wisdom and then understanding. Understanding is the application of knowledge and wisdom, right? A lot of times people just want to, we're looking for things that sound good to us, that make us feel good, that confirms basic shit that we already believe. We're not scrutinizing or using critical thinking, right? When we're listening and learning. That's what makes an involved and uh, I would say an involved in, in, in a, um, a special kind of student. A student is going to push a teacher to be the best that he can be by asking questions, by not accepting everything that is said. Oftentimes, we just want to hear shit that makes us feel good. Now, let me answer what he said. The brother Kevin Samuels is right in a lowbrow superficial kind of way. In a, in a transactional broke society, Kevin Samuels is right. In a transactional broke society, 
factor in Antonio Moore's data on the wealth gap, right? White Americans have a hundred trillion dollars of wealth. Black people got three to four trillion. That three to four trillion, which adds up to 2.6% of the nation's wealth is in the hands of baby boomers, primarily. 2% of it is. You only need $350,000 to get into the one, $350,000 liquid to get into the one percentile of black Americans. You only need really? 350. Wow. 350K. And this niggas, it's dumb niggas riding around in cars that cost that. Right. White America has a hundred trillion dollars of wealth. 20 trillion of that wealth is liquid. Barack Obama gave them 35 trillion through quantitative easing. This is all coming from Tone Talk. The sister don't know these numbers in that video. The brother, Kevin Samuels, doesn't know these numbers in that video. So now what happens is you get a low brow, and this is why I say he's right. When you don't know this information, he's right in the terms of greed, in the terms of ego, in the terms of fear. If I'm doing well for myself and I'm considered, quote unquote, a high earning black male, my wife better be something, right? And when I say be something, please understand, most niggas don't know what they need their wife to be. This is oh. why a lot of niggas get played. Oh. A lot of motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers get played because they done went after, what did they go after? A, a, a beauty, a beauty queen, a mm. trophy, mm. right? See, because we're so broke in America, it make men act like women. Now men have the same requirements of women. You need to be able to provide for me. You need to be able to match me and what I got. How you gonna be a man, a provider and a protector and you protecting your own shit? Now, watch this. You're supposed to protect your own shit if you play in the business game. Let's keep it 100. Relationships is transactional in business. Your pretty ass is supposed to match Jeff's Jaguar. Oh. Mm. On the superficial side. Mm. Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? This is superficial business they talking about right here. Your wife is supposed to match the Audi, A, the Audi R8. Right. Do you understand? Do, do, do you get what I'm saying? Right. And Tony, Tony Stark ain't fucking with Kathy Bates. That's what you're saying. Do, do you see what I'm saying? So I agree with the brother on a superficial level. The superficial level is if I got the money, I got the power. I got the broad. Right? 50 Cent said it best. He said, hustle to get the money. The women are free. The women go come, they, they come with the money. The fact that this woman is blind about what's happening in her society. Well, I'm looking for a man that makes six figures. Well, if you're looking for a black man, you got to look at the stats. If only 16% of African Americans in America, a, group, a body of people who make up 13% of the American population, if only 16% of the 13% of our total population in America have bachelor's degrees, where the fuck this money supposed to come from? See, and what women are not being honest about is, you'll fuck with a hustler 
if he's making 60 or if he's making six figures. Yeah, you'll, you'll fuck with Mr. Here, hold this when the, when the lights come on. You'll fuck with you. a dope dealer and, and try to act like you didn't see. This is why I say this whole conversation is superficial, right? The brother is right in that perspective. If I got bread, I deserve a baddie because a baddie is dating my wallet and not my character, not my integrity. How many women knowingly go into a fucked up relationship with a nigga that's breaded up with the idea in mind that if this shit don't work, I'm a cash out when I build up my equity in him. And I'll take a ass, I'll take all kind of ass whoopings in the interim. Get your residual income if you're child. But do, do you understand what I'm saying? Oh shit, look at Sarah. It's a motherfucking game. Came in the game. How many women know this ain't the right nigga? He wasn't the right nigga when I met him, but he was straight. He was straight. He was stable. He, he represented a certain level of security. He represented a certain level of fluidity. He represented a certain, certain level of social mobility. And I know if it don't work, if I catch a baby, Mm. I'm straight. Yep. Mm. I don't know if uh, uh, I don't know if catching a baby even equals don't work. I think work best is catching a baby. But do do you see what I'm saying? Do 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 you see how most motherfuckers yeah. in, interface in relationship? If I do well, it's a low key purchase of a person. Wow. See All Star Weekend. I'm purchasing your time. I'm purchasing your vibe. I'm purchasing your look. It's passive aggressive prostitution. Mm. That's what it that's what it is. Now, like I said, when you talk about a high value man, and these are coming from people that are supposed to be Christians. Ooh -wee. A high value man is not respected in American culture. But a high value vulture is. A high value vulture. What is that? I told you, you got to be sick in order to succeed. See, there's a certain level of sickness required in reaching the top of the American corporate infrastructure. You gotta be, listen, did y'all watch the fucking documentary that I told you guys to look up about the corporation and they had a goddamn uh, uh, psychiatrist show that the way corporations operate, they operate like narcissists. They operate like social, uh, what's, the, what's the word? Um, Sociopaths? Sociopaths or psychopaths. In order to be on top of the world, according to what this world deems as success, you got to be damn near a sociopath, a psychopath. Ask Jay-Z. Ask Bill Gates. So what makes you think a nigga climbing all the way to the top don't want a woman to match his Bugatti? Yeah, she needs to be as shallow and superficial as this car. These, no, he wanted to be everything he didn't get from mama. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. And he thinks he can purchase that through his success. But uh, no, 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 no. Uh, say no, no, no. Ooh, no. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. No, Lord no. Jesus, baby. No, no. I, I need you to hear what I'm saying. I need you to hear what I'm saying right here. You better be my therapist. You better cook. You better fuck on demand. You better raise the kids. I put you in this place. That's what? all you got to do. 
But, but what did you choose? You didn't choose a therapist. You didn't choose a nurturer. You didn't choose a healer. You chose eye candy thinking that they weren't those things. I've been saying it for the longest. Relationship is a highly reflective classroom where the biofeedback you get from your partner is your personal curriculum. In this society, the spiritual purpose of relationship has been marginalized. You have not the faintest fucking idea of why this person is in your life. You think they're in your life to suck, fuck, and kick it and help your credit score. You down there at the suck, fuck, and kick it. Suck, fuck, and kick it. Help your yep. credit score. Uh, listen, re listen to your bitching and bemoaning and complaining. Relationship is a spiritual temple. The spiritual temple of you. The university of you. Your partner reflects your darkness. Your darkness, your triggers. Everything that's wrong with you is in the relationship dating. Is in the marriage communing. You think it's just y'all. You think it's just capitalism. You think we just building an empire. You can't build an empire with a, uh, uh, with a secret enemy. Oh. And you think I'm saying the secret enemy is your partner. No, the secret enemy is the reflection of the enemy you refuse to acknowledge within yourself. See, the moment you heal that, whatever oath or creed, decree you made in front of a so-called pastor has no more meaning. Mm. The moment you defeat yourself, the weaknesses within yourself, you will look back and organic, you'll be, organically you'll be like, damn, that was the wrong person. Damn. And organically, it'll, you guys will start growing apart. You don't have to send out an email to your friends that you different when you start reading. Niggas just start falling off and say, you changed. The same happens in intimate relationships too. When you start growing up spiritually by taking ownership of what the fuck is wrong with you. This is the real purpose of why you're in relationship. Not the motherfucking Bugatti, not the motherfucking uh, uh, 3,600 square foot crib with five bedrooms, not all of, you know how many motherfuckers are socially yoked? In other words, they got the degree, they got the motherfucking job, they got the careers, and these motherfuckers is unhappy? That's being socially yoked. But I checked all the boxes. Yes. But every motherfucker you come in contact with on an intimate level, you are spiritually yoked with them. Spiritually yoked doesn't mean having the same religious beliefs or the same religious dogmatic ideas. That's just dating an idea. That's being married to an idea. No. Spiritually yoked is your dark side relating and reflecting their dark side. That's where the real work comes in. They're not even talking about that on the Kevin Samuel side of the game. They're talking about socially yoked. You too ugly to date my wallet is basically what he said. You too ugly to be making demands on my time in my wallet. What kind of demands you gonna make? You not cute enough. I don't know, that, 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 that kind of ring, okay, no mind. So what he basically saying is, guess what? The prettier you are, the less power I have. Because now I'm a trick for your cuteness. Mm. God damn. God damn.
See, your, your beauty is your currency now. This is why I always ask women, can you name five currencies in a man that has nothing to do with his wallet? And vice versa, brothers, can you name five currencies in a woman that has nothing to do with her beauty? I dare you to ask me that. I D-double cock, I dare you to ask me that about Mrs. Brown. I dare you. I'm asking you, Jeff. Go ahead. Uh, number one, disconnected from the socio-Judeo-Christian Kool-Aid. Uh, I didn't, I didn't put these together on purpose, but I'm going to give it to you. Uh, Sarah, baby, I love you so much. I know. And you know my love is pure. Yeah. I hate to drop this on you, but when Zoe criticized Christians, you went, here we go. Because you hold that near to you. Let me explain something to you, Sarah. The white man's God has a hell, and you're going to stay in it till you give him his God back. Mm. That is not your God, Sarah. That mm. was not your grandmama's God that gave it to your mama. That was not your great-grandmama's God that gave it to your grandmama. That is not your God, Sarah. And if you're going to find your heaven, you're going to need to find your God. One, disconnected from the socio-Judeo-Christian Kool-Aid. Two, the ability to counsel, to advise, and oftentimes, because I am a spectacular fuck-up, reprimand me without attacking, demeaning, or damaging our relationship or my manhood. Three, the inner fortitude to properly, in my opinion, affect and raise children she did not even have. Four, mm. the ability to sit in a meeting with me about something we want to do, disagree with me, have my word be final, which is counter to her word, and have that be totally fucking wrong. And only sit down with me afterwards in summary, without yeah, nigga. Mm. Five, five, and I can't put these in order of importance, but five is a motherfucker. She cannot be told by outside sources what to do with her inside business. Mm. Mm. Now, that ain't got nothing to do with the fact that my wife is fine as hell and is uh, uh, built like a Coke bottle. Mm. But what I'm here to tell you she got is that you can get like both if you pay too. You can get both. I used to think. You hear me, Jeff? I used to think ass Jeff? and stomach was a combo. Yeah. I used to think ass and stomach was a combo, but the truth is, if you're patient, you can get ass without stomach. Hey, Jeff, did you hear ass me? Ass comes out of the car. <laughs> Jeff, did you hear me? What's that? I said she got friends built like that, too. Oh, uh, yeah, she got some friends built like that. But, <laughs> but, but, that, but them other five, them five is missing. So let me give some, too. Uh, can I compliment Zoe first? No. Because no, on, no. on this very don't, subject, don't I'm about to tell me. some of Zometheus, no. Zometheus Lee Arthur, I'm about to tell some of your business. Don't Y'all do that, my Jeff. Mic. Fuck! Uh, me and Mrs. Brown call ourselves matchmaking for Zoe. And there is a person in my life that is, is incredibly attractive but is lacking them five. 
and look good next to Zoe. God damn it, when they get dressed, nigga. Oh, that woo! was. Oh, I remember that. That was like God four or five. Damn, no. That was like period. four or five years ago. Yes, sir. Yeah. About four or five years ago. Here's yeah. the compliment to Zoe. Zoe knew right out the gate them five was missing. Yeah, I was like, uh. Mm. <laughs> And... He knew right out the gate, and he had, and you know what? It there was a social acid test. The car, Zo. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say. There was a social acid test that she failed horribly. Yeah. That he put up front first. When she failed but that she test, was, hey, she when was. she failed that test, you know what Zo said? Thank you so much for playing. Hey, Here's some party let, gifts. Let me just say this: she, she was Thank beautiful, you. though. God damn is okay but that's enough Let, let's <laughs> let's come back don't make my stitch nigga ah. let's come back right currencies that are not related to your wallet empathy being able to empathize put yourself in your partner's shoes Objective listening. In other words, non-judgmental listening. Right? Being able to listen without judgment. Being able to listen without the desire to correct or solve. I am here as a blank canvas for you to paint on. That's a currency. Right? Being able to observe without judgment. Right? Somebody said integrity. In other words, being able to present who you are as you are without fear of your partner judging you. That's a currency. Mm. Being able to stand as yourself in a relationship mm. is a currency. This is me. This is what I'm about at this current stage of my development. And I own it. And it is me. And I love on it. And That's a power. Value. That's big value. Right? Do you know... As a man, when you come into the truth of yourself, do you know your energy and your presence falls in the category of providing? Have you ever been around a person whose energy stabilized yours? See, women will reflect your insecurity when you're not on sure footing of who you are. They won't be on sure footing of what you guys are. <laughs> huh? If the bitch in you is still calling shots from within you, yeah. Yeah. how can she respect anything other than your wallet, nigga? You can't control your inner bitch, nigga. <laughs> Right? If you haven't tamed your fear, your doubt, right? If you haven't tamed your weaknesses, how in the entire fuck is she going to respect one modicum of who you project as the real you? She can't. She, she won't. And you got a lot of wallet pimps out here. What you are is a glorified John, my nigga. Mm. And the moment you lose the wallet provision, she will fuck the homies. Ask Steve Harvey's wife. We, we saw her history. This is no disrespect to the brother Harvey. This is no disrespect to his wife, but I'm saying 
regardless whole, to how disrespectful he commonly is to people and those I, around him. I don't mean that, and I'm not saying this in a disrespectful oh, way, and okay. I apologize if it's perceived as that, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this woman went from dope dealer to dope dealer, and those dope dealers were related in some way, and then in moved on to ways. Harvey. Well, if you, it could be argued that that uh, uh, Steve is his own brand of dope dealer. But uh, okay, fine. But but the point that I'm saying is, if she's dating a provision, yes, that is only associated with your wallet, that means you haven't found inner provision. See, mm -hmm. external provision is easy to acquire if you follow a plan. But sometimes. In respect to going inside and unraveling the knots that keep you wounded, sometimes that plan isn't as clear as the linear plan. How many men you know become workaholics because they know at any moment I sit the fuck down long enough, what I haven't worked on inside is going to come out. Wow. Oh, stay busy, ass niggas. I don't fuck with no goddamn relationships. That shit makes me reflective. I don't want to be self-reflective. Let me go put in some work somewhere else. So I ain't got to look at me. So I ain't got to look at me. It's a lot of running from self, motherfuckers. So again... The sister, so most sisters, no disrespect to the sister, I love sisters to death. Most sisters, socially blind, meaning you didn't know in 2016, one out of every five black men in America was unemployed, yet you still asking for a six-figure nigga. Well, in America, money and resources says options so why the fuck i want to settle down if i'm one of the rare niggas to be a six nigga nigga why would i do that why would i do that all-star weekend nigga. come on come on all these goddamn baddies running around here on a merry-go-round for a certain select few lords and all I need is some some uh, uh, privilege tickets. Is that what you call them? What do you call them? Yeah. So what are they? Bio survival tickets. Yeah. All I need is a million right. bio, bio survival tickets. Almost like them tickets you win at Chuck E. Cheese or at uh, Dave and Buster's. Pull up that list, Sarah. Oh, which one? This is what most niggas is fucking with right here. Oh. Watch this list, oh. Jeff. Hmm. Don't give her no dick. If she ain't got no job or she makes less than $12 an hour. This is one of those. Wow. This is one of those. This is one of those high quality niggas. These high earning niggas, right? If she live with her mama, if she always she hungry, if she got a cash app in her bio. If she can't. Always in drama, in the club every week. If she can't do what you supposed to. Look at this shit. Don't bring shit to the table. Right? First and foremost, this is, this is the low level, right? This is a game, right? So these are the game rules for low level conscious people. She ain't got no job. Well, sure. That would be something you think about, right? Well, damn, you ain't got no job. She make okay, now she got a job. She makes less than $12 an hour. Well, she lives with her mama. Do you know, do you know uh, uh, the millennials are the brokest generation ever? Even though they went to college? Mm -hmm. Do you know most of the millennials are still living with their parents at 30? Niggas don't have no information to marry these fantasiful beliefs. None. She My always hungry. 
This is a, this is a reason not to fuck somebody. She's hungry. Well, that's because yeah. you can't fill her up with your dick. That's another story. She got a cash app in her bio. How dare her have hard times? <laughs> Nigga, y'all bet, hey, I urge y'all to go check Antonio Moore's workout. Please go check his shit out. When he talks about Barack Obama, go check it out. When he talks about Barack Obama and the gig economy as Barack Obama's legacy, you're liquidating your car through Uber. You're liquidating that bitch. Do you know when you reach a certain mileage, warranties expire, and once warranties expire, the resale value is... Okay, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother dance. Uh, you, uh, so, can can I, seeing as I am the mild car specialist on the show, yeah. could I could I uh, ex, is it all right if I go parenthetically here? It's been a little while since I said anything. Be honest with you. Go ahead, my nigga. Okay, I like that. Go ahead, my boy. Um, <laughs> let's discuss the Uber game for a second, shall we? Mm -hmm. First off, you can't Uber unless your car is of a certain age, the finance age. When I tell you I drive now a 1976 Jaguar that is as clean as anybody's 2000 anything. But if I found myself in the need to drive Uber, I know why? Because then I would be using a car that is not in the you buy the car and you buy the money to buy the car so that you are always financially upside down in the car game. So that game is added to by all the wear and tear that you put on your car doing right. Uber. Right. If you are driving Uber and making a car payment, you are sharecropping. <laughs> ah, hey, look, six figure, hey, six figure ladies. Hollywood is about to die. Jeff, you know this. Warner Brothers got everybody shook. Tone Talks just hit me with this right now. Warner Brothers got everybody shook. You know why? Because COVID has killed the movie industry. Mm -hmm. Ain't well, no more movie to. theaters, nigga. It's supposed to. Look at that. Warner Brothers streaming push rattles A-list stars and producers. Box office bonus means shit now. So the wealthiest motherfuckers is about to get hit and you sitting here socially ignorant asking for a six figure nigga from a group of people who have been targeted by a racist society. Uh, you asking for a six figure nigga and you're using, you're using a yardstick for a black man that white women, white women can no longer use for white men. AMC went out of business. What job? <laughs> Ooh, somebody said Hollywood ain't going nowhere. Oh, that's so cute. Huh? Uh, let, let, let me explain something to you uh, uh, about Hollywood. I'm going to tie it in. Oh, well, shit. Uh, yeah. When you, uh, yeah. That's coming in the rant. We're going to tie COVID together with the rant, with, with, with Hollywood. Okay. And why uh, uh, autodidact. Uh, some shit that sounded good to you and some other niggas you was around uh, said that uh, Hollywood is dying and uh, is not, is not, isn't going anywhere and I don't know how I, I don't know if that person lives out here or is in the business more than likely not to make a statement like that um, but I'm going to tie together let's call it COVID's real intent I'm going to point out what COVID's real intent is, and I'm gonna ask Zoe that you or anyone else debate me on uh, uh, the facts that I present with regard to COVID. I'm just gonna wrap this up and then throw to Jeff for his rant. Again, the real purpose of relationship is for you to grow up spiritually it's to grow you up spiritually but because spirituality is so 
motherfucking nebulous. It's so far off to many. The real world is about getting a bag. And whoever has the bag gets to dictate how the relationship goes, right? For the most part, or so many people think. Pull up the woman's list. We saw the man's list, right? Pull up the woman's list. These niggas go to class every Monday, so. Look at this. I know. Look at this shit right here, Jeff. Don't give him no coochie if he needs a ride to the hospital to watch you give birth. Wow. Don't take care of his kids from his other baby mama. Uh, right. Plays Not video games all day, but don't got no job. Top, top earners right now are video game champions. Keep going. Trying to stay with you while homeless. He's a hobosexual. I got one for that. But Wears designer going. clothes, but don't wear cologne. That's a good reason not to fuck him. Uh, earns less <laughs> than $60,000 a year. Do you, first and foremost, listen to me now. Listen to me. Listen. Are you, for, put that shit back up. Number one, if he needs a ride to the hospital to watch you give birth. Is it your baby? Because <laughs> it's too late then. You fucked the broke nigga and got the... Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Was his car repossessed in the first, second, or third trimester? <laughs> what? I I'm confused. Was he without a car when he was with your pussy? Right, because number one makes no sense because the bottom one says don't fuck with him if he not making 60K. But the first one said you already fuck with him if you got to give him a ride so y'all can have your baby. So you just discounted Denzel Washington and Hill Harper. Talk and, about Denzel and Pauletta, uh, Jeff. Uh, Denzel, Denzel didn't have a car. You know how he got to auditions? Pauletta drove him. Denzel's T. Look at the old picture of Denzel Washington. His teeth look like broke dominoes. You know who fixed them? <laughs> Pauletta. So what these women are telling you is that they are going to perish with the other fools. Anyone who pays any attention to this list in any other energy than ridicule is going to be dead in the next five or so years. Don't even worry about it. That shit's going to die. Keep it up. Look, put, it, put it back up, Sarah. Put it back up. Don't take care of his kids from his other baby mama. Who took care of you? Mm. Mm. If 70% mm. of African American children are born out of wedlock, who took care of your ass? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, I can work with, with, uh, to, with that one. But I need to finish making my point. Okay. <laughs> this nigga, put it back up, Sarah. I... What I'm trying to say is a fractured community will not become whole, right? by motherfuckers making a gang of imbalanced, illogical demands on how they gonna be a prostitute. What do I mean a prostitute? First off, you cannot grow up through control mechanisms. You prostitute yourself to your fears every time you try to control another person. Sure, sure. Don't take care of his kids from another baby mama. Here's the thing. That decision is made before you pull your panties off. Don't try to make that motherfucking decision after you in love and you done came 15 times. Or you done had a baby. Where is your resolve to not get involved before you make that demand? It was destroyed with the baby, Catherine. 
Boom. Plays video nice. games all day, but don't got no job. How long do you have to observe this behavior while riding dick before this becomes a demand? How did he get to your uh, how did he get to your eggs with this? Uh, yes. How did he bring this to your how did that's the true question? How did it, and, and and I think she means if he don't take care of his kids from his other baby mom. I don't think she's saying she not gonna do it. She's saying if he doesn't take care of his kids from his other baby mama and he's staying in your house playing video games while you go to work, please understand that that's the nigga you chose. Watch this, Jeff. How many women you fuck with, and I'm speaking hypothetically, how many women most men fuck with who have children mind their motherfucking business about the children the man has and the woman he's got to interface with. Mm. Oftentimes, women be in the fucking business. So I don't want to hear that don't take care of his kids from his other baby mama when you got an opinion about it. Why not shut the entire fuck up if you're not down with that? Or don't interface with him at all if he's in that situation. Do y'all not see that these are low-level social game rules? Low-level social game rules right here. Jeff Brown, I want you to hit us with your intellectual rant. But before you do, let me just say this, man. If this show means fucking anything to you, you'll support everything that I put in front of you. Right? The likes are free. We have 15, 1,400 people in the chat room. Hitting the like button is free. Get us to 1,000 likes. But if this show matters to you in any way, shape, or form, you will not allow yourself to just receive high level blue magic game and not support it in some fucking kind of way. The shit is a travesty if you don't support it, all right? Stop with the fuckery. This is why we in this motherfucking position today. You want black media, but you don't wanna honor it with your support. Jeff Brown is about to do his motherfucking thing, man. Please hit Jeff Brown's cash app. Dollar sign GB Funny Style. Please hit my cash app. Dollar sign Zo What Netter. Please hit Sarah's cash app. Dollar sign Sundays with Sarah. Jeff Brown, take us home. Uh, wow. Shout out to my man, uh, my, my, one of my New York connects. Uh, Mr. Todd Fontaine, who uh, says, I've been telling uh, precious looking chicks to stay out of Neil Long type chicks conversation for most of this decade. Oh, oh shit. My God. Wow. Oh, damn. That is terrible. Uh, no, it isn't. No, the fuck it ain't. Some of the most horrible gut bucket looking broads are out here delusional. Okay? They're supposed to be some perks to dating an, aesthetic, uh, an aesthetically unpleasing individual in that there are other shit, you know, that ugly girl, that cute girls think they can get away with. That is society, like it or don't. That just is. Black people would be running the world right now if Whitey only did half of what he did to us. Take half the niggas out of prison, half the niggas out the graveyard, Half the niggas that got fucked over on music deals, and they only got fucked over by half. They got half the money they're supposed to. We would rule the earth. But you don't want to leave that motherfucker. Because of how much what he has has meant to you. This is where you get people who think like this on these lists. Because these two people who can think like this 
have been exposed to so much lack that lack now makes up how they choose. I do not choose from a place of lack. If I don't got a fucking dime, I choose from a place of abundance. And once I choose from a place of abundance as a man, I am unconcerned with how much money a woman makes. Somehow, you niggas are in the same shit and are trying, in the words of a friend of mine, differ, differentiate yourself as corn. You like excuses because you are not used to results. That's why your excuses feel so good. I dare you, just once, go at a project, an idea, nigga shop, go do your grocery shopping with no excuses and see how you feel. Tell yourself you're gonna buy some collard greens to cook the day before Thanksgiving when the world and bought collard greens. <laughs> <laughs> now go out and find them collard greens because you are going to use no excuses. I've been too busy. It's too far. I don't feel like it. Find all your ingredients under that pressure. That's a basic one. And see how good you feel operating without excuses. And then once you do, your power grows. Every white supremacist came out of a white vagina. Please mm. stop somewhere in your head disconnecting white women from white supremacy. They have mothered it. Why you think Massa Steak tastes as good as my chitlins? Oh, oh excuse me. Why you think Massa Steak don't taste as good as my chitlins. Because he ain't got no soul, that's why. He is without soul. Have you seen him dance to music? He is without soul. Now, if I ain't got a soul, since that's what you told me, then why and how did you give me a religion? Mm. <laughs> ain't religion supposed to save your soul? Please understand that you need to ask these questions, Sarah, when you get in your mind. Here we go. Just ask yourself a couple of questions about why you think how you think. Don't just think. Examine your thoughts. Please understand that uh, I am very proud to say that I, Jeff Brown, named New Williams the Young Lion. I'm proud of that. Do you know why? Because I, before I ever could see, and possibly before, I think Zoe can probably attest to this, before he could jump over a Volkswagen, he walked up and I saw it. This motherfucker's a conqueror. I see it. I'm looking at it. How are you doing, young? You are a young lion. That's what I'm gonna call you from now on. Hey, young lion, how are you? Because it was there. One day, the lion will not be young. So you know what that makes, the young lion? It is more than a nickname. It is a billet. And it gives New Williams this responsibility that one day when he is an old lion, he will pick his successor. And it might not come from his loins, but it will be his choice to pick the young lion like the Black Panther, the young lion now exists. White liberals take on blacks as pets. And when you do good, nigga, they showing you off in best of show like the dog show. Know that high value is not about money, but you will be forever without it if you do not know what to do with your high value. Let's deal with COVID's real intent. If COVID is killing everybody and is dangerous to everybody, K 
could somebody pretty please with sugar on top explain India and the homeless? <laughs> could you explain that for me? Could you explain Sixth Street for me? Could you explain Venice Beach for me? Could you explain why the Los Angeles air is not yet filled with the stench of rotting dead bodies? If you ask me, COVID is aimed at motherfuckers who can afford rent. Mm. COVID and its real intention is to choke to death the sixth largest economy on the planet. How the fuck are you going to bring and kill a currency without killing the motherfuckers that come get it? Oh, man. Shout out to Tariq Nasheed. Here is why niggas in Texas and Oklahoma talk shit about how much we spent out here. Because to live in L.A., you got to come get it, nigga. You got to wake up every day about it. And that's a little bit too much for some of you Arkansas niggas and some of you Oklahoma niggas, which is why you stay where rent is $700 a month because your conscience is at, your consciousness is at $700 a month. And so your woman will match that. <laughs> so your woman will match that. <laughs> Do not ever oh, give shit. me any grief about where it is or how it is that I choose to use my excellence. Do not compare your, your place of complacency. Do not, woo, do not compare your comfortable place of complacency to my incredibly difficult place of excellence. I'm done. Well, listen, I'm going to say it again. We mean no disrespect to anybody. This is just our opinion. It doesn't mean that we're correct. It doesn't mean that we're right. It doesn't mean that uh, who, whoever we reference today is wrong. I have respect for everybody's opinion, even if I don't agree with it. Like I said, we don't know everything. We just come from our perspective. Uh, I appreciate everybody for uh, hitting the like button, for sharing. We ran a little bit over today. I, I was meaning to get out of here by one. Uh, but look, I appreciate you all. Please continue to support Jeff Brown. Please continue to support Sarah. Please continue to hit my cash app. Uh, and the super chat. I mean, this is just how the uh, this channel stays going. Everybody, thank you for supporting. Thank you for riding with us. And we just offered a perspective. It, and and like I said, it's just a perspective. So appreciate everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for chiming in. I'm Zoe Williams. This has been the Zoe Was Show. We out. Deuces. <laughs>